Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you now. Well, go on, Garuda. <laughs> Yo, Hershey got snip. Yo, you call me dumb. I'm CDA activism, yeah? Why are you, chatting? Why are you calling me dumb for? What's up? Okay, well, so vegans call me dumb all the time, so I will for, formally apologize. But people call me stupid for not um, eating vegetables like a like a um, rabbit. Like so a I rabbit, for, yo, 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 right? I want to know, right? Look, look. If the only options on the menu was a Garuda burger and a vegan burger, should I pick the vegan burger? Well, if you could share me with other people, I prefer you to pick me because at least you have some nutrients. Because I'm not plant based. <laughs> yo, so it'd be fine for me to just eat ya. Yo, yo, post Martin, yo, put my camera on, right? Put my video. I don't know if I can put my video you, on because I'm laughing to do my it. shit off right. You... I'm laughing my I'm laughing my ass off right now, right? Because this is crazy. You're gonna have to right, do yeah. it. I don't know how to do it. And, and anyway, anyway, yo, so Garuda, right? Yo, so basically you think that um if you were on the menu, it'd be ethical for me to just go out and murder you because I don't like vegetables. No, I'm a species, so like I, like if I see you dangling off a cliff and you say like help me, I'm a vegan, I'm just like I'm not gonna walk away. I'm like, let me help you, my vegan friend. And just like, hey, you wanna share like a salad? I'm like, no, I wanna I wanna find a cow. No, 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 that's not why I asked you, right? Yo, if you were on, yo, would it be ethical for me to stab you and eat you because I don't like, because someone doesn't like vegetables? No, that's fine. But if we were stranded on a, uh, like a deserted island, right? I, I would be like, look, I'm not going to eat someone, but I'm just like, I'll offer myself to you, but I cannot kill myself. So uh, basically, like, you could take me out and just no, like, eat me. No, 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 no. So in this at least you be able to get both. No, oh. no, 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 no. Okay, right, let me hold on. Let me step in before this becomes like a total shit show. Guys, I want you both to exercise some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, um, like humility towards each other because um, this is becoming a shit show and we don't want to talk like that. We want to okay. talk about, hold on, no interrupting me on my channel. Uh, we want to have uh, some like a productive and nice uh, conversation. I would actually give a point to Garuda that everybody calls him dumb. So fair enough uh, for him to call us dumb wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're breaking, you're breaking up, you're breaking up, um, pass. Uh, um, how about now? Is that okay? Yeah, you're better now. Okay, I think I clipped my. Uh, microphone anyways let's be nice to each other let's decide what we are talking about and let's let each other finish our sentences as much as possible unless some really dumb shit is being talked about all right what you tell me up in his mouth okay um okay, so uh, cda okay, we said we're gonna be nice to each other okay sorry pause sorry pause yeah. what are we talking about <laughs> somebody right, give me about. something yeah, so I'm saying that um, go vegan, else you're an idiot, Garuda. Uh, let's think of a nice, more polite way of saying that. Um, yeah, so Garuda Legends has a moral obligation to be vegan, but I don't know if he'll be able to wrap his head around that. Uh, uh, no, so... Kane, you're, you're not, uh, um, you're not uh, giving me what I asked for. I asked for a nice conversation between the two. Okay. okay. So I apologize. I, call back, I apologize for calling you dumb. Maybe that was something okay. for me to say that's really stupid. So I apologize. Okay. okay. Thank you, Garuda. All right. So um, yeah. So basically, um, you apologize yeah. as well, CDA. Okay. Please. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for being rude to you, Garuda. Okay. Thank you very much. Everybody's um, nice now. Jesus Christ. Uh, no. Right, yeah, so, um... What are we talking like, about? I want uh, some kind of proposition on the table right now. Okay. Yeah, Garuda Legends okay. has a moral obligation... Garuda Legends has a moral obligation to be a vegan. Uh, I have the morality belief that you are a human being, just like the lovely lady post-mortem vegan. I will save y'all... Lady is a stretch. Like, if, you're, if it was like y'all slipping off a cliff, I will risk my life saving y'all. I don't care. But if you say like, oh, I'm a vegan, and it's like, okay, that's cool. It's like, I'll cook you some vegan food, but you have to, I'll cook you vegan food first, and then I'll cook me some steak. 
Okay, yeah, and I want to know how you justify um, cooking steak from uh, when you have the option to just eat a vegan burger. That, that, is true, but that is true, but I'm a speciesist. I only care about humans. Okay, right. So, you know, that, and okay, um, everyone, vegan, gays, and every vegan. That's why I've been learning how okay, to cook vegan okay, food. Every ve- okay, so that's why I want to know what's a morally significant difference between a human and a non-human that makes you think humans are so special that you get to freaking... That, that they just deserve all this protection, but a cow, you just get to fucking murder them whenever you want. What is it about them? Group. Okay, DNA, DNA first, and second is the ability to communicate to other um, beings, which is either living beings, which is plants, insects, or other animals, to so they can understand human ideology, where they could choose, have the choice to pick veganism or not. Only humans could choose. Um, insects, animals, and um, like plants, like um, carnivorous, carnivorous plants, like the pitcher plant or the the Venus flytrap. They eat meat, so they don't understand the they don't understand the communication of a social contract to even understand or fathom the ideology of veganism. So that's two. All right, all right. So Garuda, so if a human being had um, was exposed to some sort of radiation that altered their DNA, that um, meant that they're technically not a human, and they were mentally disabled, they got hit upside. No, let's just say you, for example, say you were. Um, hit with some sort of radiation that altered your DNA so that so it's like you weren't technically considered human anymore and you got hit upside the head so that meant that you couldn't understand these social contracts anymore. Would it be ethical to stab you in the throat, hang you upside down, drain you of your blood, turn you into a burger and eat you? No, because if I go through that whole process, I will still be a human, and hopefully you put me down and pull the plug when I'm going underneath a radiation therapy because I'm a human being still. Just because I no, got no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, if you had, doesn't make you, me not a human anymore. No, no, no. I'm saying, right? I'm saying hypothetically, if you, if you were exposed to some radiation that changed your DNA, right? What would it be ethical for me to murder you? Just, just say your DNA was just changed by some sort of, you know, chemical, like some sort of radioactive spill. Okay, so so I wouldn't be no longer a human being anymore, or no one recognizes me as a human? No, no, you wouldn't be a human. You look like a human, you act like, well, you act as smart as you do now, but you just can't understand social contracts and your DNA's changed, such that you can't interbreed with other humans. Is it ethical to murder you now? Well, I think the best thing to do is put me down. You don't have to murder me, but at a point, if I have radiation in me, my meat will be toxic. But if my meat wasn't toxic, but since I have radiation, it wouldn't be fair to anyone to eat me because they have radiation poison. So, yeah, put me down and don't oh eat me God. because I don't want people to get poisoned eating me. Wait, 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 wait. So if I found a way to, like, not get poisoned by eating you, it'd be ethical for me to eat you? Can I at least, like, pick which barbecue sauce I want before you eat me? <laughs> Yo, yo, okay, yeah, you get to choose, you get to choose which barbecue sauce you want. Would it be ethical for me to kill ya and eat ya? I'll turn, let's just say I turn you into Garuda leather. I turn you into a leather jacket. Would it be ethical for me to eat you then? Well, if I'm not a human being anymore and you really compel and like subjugate it like a former human from radiation, then I mean, it is what it is, but I mean, I wouldn't do that for you. I would try and help you from radiation poison, but I mean, if you want to like, Snack, snack on me like in a burger. It is what it is. At the point, of, <laughs> in your opinion, I'm not a human anymore. So, I mean, bon appetit. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay, well, Garuda, to be completely honest with you, I don't think you're being 100% honest. I think you would have a major problem with someone eating you, then you would not be fine with that. But yeah, um, Garuda, I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but I don't think you're the smartest person I've ever met. Right, okay, so, um, CDA, we are uh, getting into no, no, no. a conversation about somebody's uh, intelligence, which I think is unfair right, okay. in case All of... Right, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Apologize, um, please. Yeah. Apologize. Sorry, Garuda. Thank you very right, much. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, what? so if I were to do... I could do that. Okay, well, I mean, I think you're being... Um, would you sub um, okay, okay, Garuda, so do you have a... Going to, um, 
Do you have a, some kind of a proposition that you would like to talk to no, us no, today no, no. about? I, let, let, me, let, me just, let me just say this before okay. we move on, right? Um, so just to be clear to anyone in the audience, um, I'm not... Um, yeah, this is not my position. This is the logical extension of his position. So if you want to follow a position like Garuda's, that like DNA and social contracts justifies is what justifies the difference in treatment. If you hold a position like Garuda's, but you don't want to accept that conclusion, you should change your position. Otherwise, it'll lead to a crazy conclusion like this. No, <laughs> well, I cannot, no, no, I kind of disagree with you because like, if I go to people's um, places, like their house or like wherever they live at, and they say like, oh, I have a pet dog or a pet cat, I'm not going to eat it. Just like I said, I have a pet rabbit or a pet um, cow, I'm not going to eat it. But Why? if it's lifestyle, it's yeah, because it's, it's a pet, not food. Why? Wait, 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 but Grudis, that's not a human. A dog isn't a human. Right, so yes. it'd be ethical to eat that dog, under your view. No, no, I'm not going to eat anyone's pet, nor they should eat anyone's pet because they're considered, like, a family member. But whoever, though, if there's a bunch of, like, cows, a bunch of, like, um, livestock cats and dogs, I mean, like, hey, bon appetit. But whoever, no, though, no, I'm no, saying... No, no, but what if I had a... Not my dog, my dog. I call my dog. The dog in my house. Is, it, is that ethical? Because they're not a human. Oh, let me ask you a question though. Have you ever thought that in the like, oh, say, yeah. like, the, let me ask you a question. And if an apocalypse happened though, don't you think your pet dog or pet cat is like emergency food when you get really hungry? That was a total dodge of my question. I'm asking you, would it be ethical for me to murder my dog and eat them because they're not humans and they can't reciprocate social contracts? Oh, okay. Well, so yeah, um, if it's your pet, your pet dog, or maybe say like rescue because vegans like to use a word, aka pet whatever but the thing is like is part of your family but if it's livestock there's a big difference yeah so if i have so, a dog as livestock it's ethical for me to murder them no but, first of all like, murder is between two human beings though but oh, whoever though it, if, the apocalypse happened, if the apocalypse happened though would you starve or eat your dog that's what i'm saying Garuda, though if, Garuda, Garuda. if i stabbed a, if i had a dog as livestock and i stabbed them to death and ate them would that be ethical in the view? Yes, because you're hungry, so yeah, it's food. Okay, all right, well, okay, well, I mean, um, we can talk about this apocalypse stuff, but I'm just, just to be clear, like, this is the logical conclusion of Garuda's stupid view about DNA and social contracts, so if that's your view, you might want to change it. But yeah, we can talk about the apocalypse. We we're actually talking about this earlier. No, I don't think it'd be ethical to murder animals, but... Yeah, um, talking about what we would do and what we should do is two different things. I'd probably, you know... if. In an apocalypse, I know Postmortem's probably going to say I'm being rude or whatever, but I'll probably also eat you in the apocalypse, Garuda. No, that's I fair. Think that, yeah, I think that um, in an apocalypse, in some sort of desperation, I mean, I'd say you'd probably be the weakest link out of all of us. So I'd say, yeah, I'd rather, yeah, I said, rather kill you, Garuda. Okay, yeah. so yeah, I say like I, 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 I cannot fathom eating another human being because I'm a speciesist. So however though, like if we all hungry yeah. and then I'm, I'm, uh -huh. all hungry, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna let y'all like talk about killing each other. Just like take me out and just eat me so you can nu nu um, get some nutrition in you and you can survive another day. Yeah, so I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be responsible for harming another human being. Yeah, so Garuda, I think this whole DNA um, species and stuff. Really, so the only reason why you don't go around murdering humans is because of that some specific specifics about the DNA, right? <laughs> That's crazy, right? I want to know why you think that this particular type of DNA is so morally like significant, right? Because <clears throat> I'd say I would actually submit, right, that say for example, if you were living in a world where it was socially acceptable to participate in some other type of injustice you'd be likely to participate in that injustice just because it's socially acceptable. So, like, say, racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, it's sort of, like, uh, it, it's it's morally irrelevant differences and people discriminate based upon that. I'd say that's probably what you'd do, Garuda, if you were um, born into a homophobic family or something, or, or, like, a homophobic society, I'd say. Like, say, for example, if you were born into a homophobic society and... Um, anti-homophobia activists try to talk about being homophobic, I'd say you probably just say, oh, well, I'm just a homophobic, so there's nothing you can do about it. That's probably that's probably um, what you do, Garuda. And, it's, and, yeah. I'd, um, and I propose that post-mortem probably wouldn't, because she's against um, arbitrary discrimination. 
Well, go okay, so then you accuse me of having a big crush on um, vegan gays, and she's a big time um, lesbian. So there you go. I already destroy your whole theory. Uh, about no, 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 Garuda, right? You want wait, wait? Um, do you come from a society where like a lot of people are homophobic? Yes. Okay. Um, and um, what have you ever come across like anti-homophobia rhetoric before, like? anti hot like people speaking up against homophobia. Yep. Okay, and when was the first time you came across that? Mm, I have gay friends. I've been had gay friends since I was in high school, and then people always talk about gays people and all the people. I don't really care because it's not my personal problem. I just want to do my life. I don't care if someone's gay. Okay, so why do you care if someone's not a human? I'd say it's just because like you wouldn't you wouldn't have had like any sort of social consequences because maybe when you were in high school, no matter when you had gay friends, like it's because they were with you when there might have been some sort of social consequence to um you being homophobic to them, like you'd lose a friend. But I'd say that if you didn't grow up with that, I'd argue that you'd probably be more likely of being homophobic. That's why yeah. someone like me yeah, is opposed to oh, let me finish. That's why someone like Sorry, me is opposed to discrimination across the board. So that um, you know, if we if we oppose discrimination to everyone, right? How are we gonna be discriminatory towards humans? But no, you seem to just like to pick and choose. I think that's crazy. No, my first encounter, I was just like, this person said, like, hey, I have something to tell you. And then they're like, it was just like, he was like about to cry. And he was just like, I'm gay. I'm just like, I already know. Be quiet. You want to go get some pizza? All right. Uh, yeah. So it's is that your friend? Problem. It's not my issue. Right. And that's, that's the first time you ever heard of being gay. Right. So you, you, weren't, you weren't like fed, you weren't fed gay people. Um, you, you Were you around, like, say, um, like just homophobic, like lynchings and things like that when you were young. Where, where did you go? Where did you grow up? No, no, I was baptized. I was baptized as a Christian at seven. I still don't care if someone's gay or not. Not my problem. Let God, like, grant you into heaven or not. Not my problem. I don't right, really yeah. care. Not right, my um, issue. Like, what's right, the care? What, what, what country did you grow up in? The Caribbean. And my ancestors from Africa. Extremely homophobic. All right, all right, all right. So, um, what I want to know is why you want. Okay, so why is homophobia wrong? I could care less if it's right or wrong. It's not my problem. Let um, let the creator. If you don't believe in a creator, not my problem. It's like okay, I don't. So. It's not it's a non-topic though. Also, too, I support breast cancer awareness month, so I'm not against females voting. Even though sometimes females shouldn't vote before their own benefit, but whoever though, I think females are what? smarter than men. Wait, why do you think, why would you think you, uh, females, as you call them, women, shouldn't be allowed to vote? Oh, sorry, like, women? I mean, circumstances. Why, why? Because you have to save them why? from themselves. Wait, wait, what do you mean by save them from themselves? Because as a man, you have to give women guidance. But if she wants to vote, fine. But, I mean, you probably shouldn't vote. And just... Wait, 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 wait. So... Wait, so you and think that... the earth with other children. That's how Earth works. Yeah. Wait, 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 so you think that a a, ma a woman needs a man's guidance to vote? What, what what do you mean by that? By this, a woman needs a man's guidance. What does that mean? Because the best, most successful people on Earth, a woman has a man and a man has a woman. But if she wants to be by herself, wait, what, wait, you're, bre you're breaking up. If she wants to be single till she's you're 14, breaking up. Hold on. No, no, it's not a uh, Garuda. It's a uh, CDA. You are breaking up. Garuda sounds right. fine. I mean, Garuda spits some bullshit that wants me to kick him off uh, the stream here because, uh, like, uh, thank you, my dear savior, but I think I can decide on my own uh, whom to vote for. Right? Yeah. I agree because well, I, I, I met. Just because I don't believe women should vote, women are aggressively smarter than men. We're dumb. That's why the brains of every good relationship is the women, and we're just the bronze. Then why uh, shouldn't they uh, be allowed to vote? Because they're going to be single by themselves, but they need a man, and the man need to tell them what to vote. What for. does that have to do with vote voting for. between what, like a woman who's uh, married to a man can't vote, but... Because... Okay, wait, so wait, wait. I, I, Does I, I, voting I, I, prevent uh, women from getting husbands? <laughs> come 
No, 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 because I'm saying... Uh, well, then what's the fucking connection yeah. between the two? Come on, spell it out. Come on, quickly. Okay, so, okay, because, it's because women are smarter than men, but men are the ones traditionally who goes out and work to oh, bring Why the too money. should I care about tradition? Yeah, because, okay, that's true. Traditions are kind of like old-fashioned. But however, though, if a woman makes more, than, more money than a man... Not only is it old-fashioned, it old, fucking changes all the time, home, right? Say that again. I said not only is tradition old-fashioned, it also changes all the time. So why should I listen to tradition at fucking all if it's going to change in a bit? And by the way, who changes the tradition? We do, people. We decide all of that bullshit. So if we decided that women should vote, you are the one that's going against the grain here. It's like uh, sticking up to a tradition of a hundred and somewhat some something years ago. So like, why should we care about uh, the bullshit that you're talking about? Huh? Yeah, because I support females' equality. I don't think it will benefit females to vote in, but if they want to vote or if they want to work more than a man and a man can stay home and be the house dad and she goes home or she goes outside and make the money, I'm okay with it. But say traditionally, that? even though you don't believe in traditionally, I'm okay with tradition changing, which is a fact that you just said. But Wait, like, so uh, hold on. Do you, Sorry. do you or do you not believe that women should have the right to vote? Because you said you don't. And then you said it's totally like, okay if you do. So which one is it? No, 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 women should absolutely have the right to vote. I just think they shouldn't vote. Why not? Because the, the because the government has never been beneficial for women at all. <laughs> well, the, the that's world, that's how we well that's how we try to so change I, shit, right? By <laughs> voting, right? If women don't have the right to vote, they can't change the government that that, that goes against them, right? That doesn't support them. I mean, Okay, I agree with you, but... I mean, lady, how would it change you... otherwise, like, right? <laughs> Give me a scenario where if uh, women didn't have the rights to vote, how would the government change <laughs> to give more rights to women? Okay, because in America, Hillary Clinton was president, but women w didn't vote for her. Well, she's... whatever, that's okay. What does that prove, exactly? Well, that's one case of proof, but also two. When no, it comes why, to like why would you think that uh, uh, women should vote for only women? Because they need a man to oversee them. That's what? Why they, that's why women vote for oh, men that's why they vote for presidents who are only for men presidents, right? It has nothing to do with the fact that uh, Hillary Clinton was basically like the only true candidate for presidency and she sucked ass. So women, okay, that, yeah, by the way, that women sucks. did vote for her disproportionately over uh, the other guy, right? Just the other guy won anyways. That's how democracy works. But women disproportionately okay. did vote for Hillary Clinton. So I don't understand but, what point are you trying to make here? Okay, so I will vote for a president woman who is stable enough in her brain to actually get my vote, though. Well, and I will vote for do. her and I will do a campaign. But when it's going to be the woman to pull up and actually get anyone's vote, especially women's vote? I didn't understand fucking any of that. So please. Okay, so when, when will there be a woman who is stable enough to run for president that even. What do you mean stable? What do you mean stable? What do you mean by stable? What is that? Her okay. brain is stabilized enough to not talk nonsense when she's over there. Oh like, my god. Yeah, I'm to uh, a... I'm gonna ask you to leave or I'm gonna fucking remove you from a call. It's wait, your decision. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Before 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 you kick him out. Before you kick him out. No 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 hold on. You don't talk this kind of nonsense on my fucking stream, right? I have uh, not only a duty no, to um, myself as a female, but a duty to my no, um, uh, women who watch oh, me God. to not expose them to this nonsense. So Garuda, I'm oh, giving God. you a chance to either leave or I'm gonna remove you from the call. Oh, wait, 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 before before I leave, can I just say this, right? This is exactly what I was talking about, right? People who discriminate, right? There's all this discrimination is connected, right? Why instead of like once you start like inviting discrimination into someone's mind, how um whenever it's some whenever so that whenever it's convenient for someone, socially convenient for someone to just arbitrarily discriminate against others, this is what you end up with. 
Garuda yeah. legends literally defend, yeah. literally yeah. saying that women women shouldn't vote, right? Arbitrary women? discrimination is evil all the time. This can is why it ends up in. Can I give a disclaimer? I don't know if I don't know if you can because uh, listen, my brain is not uh, my female brain is not stable enough to uh, give a fuck about what you're saying right now. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, Post mortem, you definitely way smarter than Garuda. If that's any uh, constellation. Last words, and then I'm removing you. Let's go. Okay, I was telling people to vote for Post Magaber, the female, but no one wants to vote for her. <laughs> Thank you very much for that brain dead uh, conversation. Thank you. Oh shit! I broke my own rules. I mean, gonna... oh, oh, there you go. oh, that's terrible. Oh. Yo, and this is this is the guy. Yo, this is the guy. Turn on I'm your fucking uh, 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 thing, please. Turn what, on what's your camera. Thing? Your camera, camera. Turn on your. Camera. I, I, I try. I tried to. It's not letting me. Um... I don't know how. Uh, yeah, um, let me just, um, USB camera. Is it working now? Uh, no, it's now this uh, flowy piece of cloth and CD in the middle. There we go. Right. Now it's working. Now it's working, okay. Yeah, um, this is the guy who, uh, wants vegan gays to, um, fancy him, which, uh, <laughs> oh god. I mean, I remember... listen. Who wouldn't want a guy who thinks that females don't have a stable brain to uh, live on to uh, oh, uh, vote in their own uh, uh, for their own rights, right? Uh, and the proof no. is that when there was one female candidate, that she didn't become a president after all that. <laughs> That's his proof that women don't have the brains to vote. Oh, That's amazing. What a guy.